Joe Budden dropped his explosive latest podcast reacting to the news of J. Cole backing out of the feud with Kendrick Lamar. But according to Budden, it appears as if though with Cole stepping back, the big dog, Drake, is about to step up and join Kendrick Lamar and about to finally settle who is the greatest of this generation. On the latest episode of the Joe Budden Podcast, this is what Joe had to say. Kendrick has earned himself a bye with Cole's apology, but I think that the insiders know that both sides went in the booth and came out. They're ready. And what I'm hearing about both sides is that it's nuclear. I'm hearing this from people that can rap. I've been saying for a few pods now that I've seen absolutely nothing from Drake to get me excited enough to think that he will be capable of doing what needs to be done against the likes of a Kendrick Lamar. I'm here to say that there is no longer any need for me to instigate anything. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play too. All you gotta do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code Ferro, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app, use my code Ferro, and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HoopsFero for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The SeatGeek promo code is HoopsFero. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro. It's bad, said Joe. So according to Joe Budden, there appears to be response records from Drake and I guess maybe a one that coincides for Kendrick Lamar. Joe is saying that Drake and Kendrick Lamar are about to have it out. Obviously, I have no earthly idea if Joe Budden's sources are correct. This could be probably one of the best hedges of the bets we've seen in music podcast history because like you got to look at it from this perspective. Let's say Joe Budden is wrong. We're not going to hear anything from Drake's side or Kendrick's side. These dudes don't do a lot of talking per se. They don't do a lot of press. You're not going to hear about it. If they do decide to engage in some kind of combat or war, then Joe Budden looks like a genius. He looks like he's got great sources. Matter of fact, he looks like a reporter, right? So there is really no downside to Joe putting that out in the atmosphere because it's incredible hedging of the bet. It, it gets him in the news wire. It gets him talked about on platforms like Pharaoh's and all, a bigger news out, you know, article based sites. It's everywhere right now that there appears to be Drake and Kendrick Lamar smoke coming for one another, according to Joe Budden. So y'all let me know, comment section, YouTube, Facebook, let me know, share it out. Are y'all really ready for a Drake and Kendrick Lamar back and forth after all these years? Is this something that the culture wants, needs, desires? Or y'all kind of like, eh, these dudes ain't in their prime no more. Or it's like, you know, it's childish of them to do. Let me know your thoughts. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, y'all can say what y'all want. I'm here for it. All right, I'm still one of these dudes that enjoy the competitive sport of hip hop from dudes that are very rich. I, I, like I say, the same thing over and over every video. I don't want to hear from from the young bulls. I don't want to hear about nobody ops. I don't want to hear about nobody and what, what somebody did the day day or who's smoking on who pack. Not interesting to me. But top tier level rapping at the elitist of levels from dudes music that I have been bumping for the last 10, 15 years. I'm into that. I don't care what y'all say. I'm into that at the top tier. This ain't got nothing to do with, with the young boy with the shiesty mask in the hood. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't care what ops he got. I don't even listen to that. Nah. But at the top level, where I'm at in life right now, I still like it. I still want to hear it. Time, love, and support. 
Is your boy never take for granted salute? I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories. I talk music. I cover sports. I am culture. I am Pharaoh.